Good morning, Wildcats. This is your morning report with Simon Alvarado and Destiny Davis. Good morning, Wildcats. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Before we get started, we're going to go directly to Anella for a community report. Good morning, Wildcats. This is your community report for today, Friday. As you can see, traffic is moving along smoothly on Adelphi Road. There has been no reports of accidents, but make sure you're driving on the speed limit and obeying the law. And now back to our anchors. Thank you, Nala. Attention students, her rally has been postponed until further notice. Tickets for the Valentine's Day dance will be sold during lunch. Prices are $7 during lunch and $10 at the door. The dance will be on February 16th from 7.30 to 10.30. Please make sure your parents are here by 10.30 though, because ain't the right time to stay here at that time. Now to Lance Simmons for our daily weather report. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Wildcats. It is finally Friday. It's a day for studying, getting work done. Nah, it's time to go shopping, it's time to party tonight. But before you do that, let me give you your weather so you know how to dress. Now today will be a chilly low of 18 degrees with a high of 31 degrees with a little sunshine. Moving on to the weekend, Saturday there will be a slight chance of snow with the low being around 30 degrees with the high being about 36 degrees. Sunday's low will be approximately 32 degrees and a high of 41 degrees with a slight chance of rain or snow in effect that day. Coming back to you on Monday, you can expect the day to be partly sunny with a low of 24 degrees and a high of 41 degrees. Wildcats, this was your weekly Wildcat weather report. Have fun and stay safe over the weekend. Now back to our wonderful anchors. Thank you, Lance. Miss Hendricks will be selling Rosegrants February 5th and 6th during all lunches on 8 days only. Don't forget to send us some. Remember, peer leaders will be visiting your classes to inform you about the FAFSA process. If you're interested in learning about the FAFSA process, please have requests ready for our peer leaders to answer. With regard to recycling, SGA will be incorporating a share table as you walk down the lunch line. If there's any item you do not want, such as milk, a fruit cup, or other prepackaged snacks, please make sure you place it on the table. If you need more food, please feel free to take any items. Let's help to make sure everyone has enough to eat. Well, okay. Some of you may not know, but February is Black History Month. We recognize and celebrate the contribution of African Americans who help to build and shape up the country. People such as Thurgood Marshall, Jackie Ross, Robinson, Charles R. Drew, Marian Anderson, and of course, we can't forget the first African American president of the country, Barack Obama. And now to Michael and Christopher for a brief information session pertaining to prominent figures in black history. And today we recognize the contributions of the first black Supreme Court Justice, Thurgood Marshall. Prior to being appointed to the Supreme Court, Thurgood Marshall was the first black solicitor general in the United States, the third highest ranking attorney of the U.S. government. You may know him for the most important legal case of the 20th century, Brown v. Board of Education in 1954. He is considered by many to be the most important civil rights attorney of the 20th century. So today we recognize the contributions of Thurgood Marshall. If you want to learn more about Thurgood Marshall, you can check out the newest film about him titled Marshall, which premiered October 13th of last year. Thank you, Wildcats, and back to the anchors. Thank you, Michael and Christopher, for that inspirational piece. These have been your morning announcements. I am Simon Alvarado. And I am Destiny Davis. Have, have a great, great day, day Wildcats. Wildcats.